Hi everyone, welcome back and today I have the best nail painting tips you actually need to know and I'm going to share them with you. I hope you enjoy them because this is actual useful information. So the first thing obviously we have our clean nails and then what? Okay, I'm going to start at random and share with you the tips. And the first one is when it comes to picking nail polish colors, I think that everyone should have a variety of nude neutral nail polish colors. So many brands offer them and you can find them basically anywhere, it just depends on your preference. But these are some of the ones that I have. And the next one is super important, which is to have one coat of white nail polish this is the one that i have chosen and i love this one actually been using it for a while i need to get a new bottle but this one is one coater and usually white nail polishes that are one coat are the ones that are for the french tip so keep that in mind and i just applied it to show you guys how it's applied and how you can actually remove it you can actually grab a little makeup brush or any little brush that you have dip it in some acetone and you're gonna remove around your nail polish that will give you that sleek perfect look and this is something that it's crucial when it comes to doing manicure at home and perfecting that diy manicure that looks like salon so tell your friends <laughs> uh, when it comes to picking nail polish colors you can pick any colors obviously of your choice but you know that we all do this we kind of shake our bottle and that is something that we all kind of know but actually no this will give you like bubbles and not good like way application what you actually need to do is roll your bottle between your hands and that will allow you to have even application and no bubbles so you're set for applying it and that is the key. Also, if you have a problem with nail polish chipping all the time, I would suggest to apply something that has glitter in it because glitter is harder to remove in general. So applying glitter nail polish or something that has glitter in it on your nails longer and it will not chip as easily. Then we have this thing when it comes, like all the different brands, they have different obviously formulas but also different nail polishes have different nail brushes these are the nail brushes that i prefer and i don't like having wide too big nail brush because it just makes a mess but the ones that you see on the screen are good to me so you need to kind of find and look for your preference now another tip that is super important and i think that i say it all the time is finding good base coat you need base coat to apply before having on any nail paint or nail color of your choice base coat will make sure that nail polish lasts longer and it will prevent your nails from chipping and extra damage but now that I have done all of that, I'm going to pick this color of my choice and remove from one side of this brush all the like paint that I can and then I'm gonna paint it. Here I'm trying to show you that like the hand you're holding brush needs to be secured. So I'm showing you how you can secure it and I really hope that makes sense. Probably not, but yeah so here is the three stroke motion like three strokes and you're done please don't get caught up in that rule because we are all different and sometimes we need to make little strokes sometimes we are fine with just three depends on the way you grab nail polish depends on the brush and i on purpose picked red nail polish and this little bit wider brush I actually like this brush, I don't mind it, I actually don't like too wide brushes and too thin like brushes, if that makes sense, hopefully it does and it stops saying that, but yes, I did one coat and then I'm gonna do a second coat. I will always do two coats of nail paint and that's it, that is something that I would advise you to as well, just two coats no more than two maybe maybe if the formula of nail polish is actually too thin then you can do three thin coats but usually i would just stick with two 
and again I'm dipping my little brush in some acetone and perfecting the manicure because that is the crucial step that makes any homemade manicure look professional that is to clean around and follow all the steps and tips that I'm sharing with you because trust me I do that and I always get questions on my nails so maybe I'm doing something right and you can do it as well now gloss on them haters yes i'm applying glossy top coat this is a fast drying top coat dries your nails fast adds beautiful shine so i've been using it for years i think it's really good to have good fast dry top coat not only makes your nail polish drying time faster but it actually adds beautiful shine which is something that i love i love that gloss gel effect on my nails so that's what i do i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think i really want to know if you have any more tips you can share it with me in the comment section because i want to hear from you i love reading your feedback and also love to hear what you have to say so please leave that in comments give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it that way you are letting me know that you enjoy my content and want me to produce more so that is something that is very helpful to me so please do that until next time you can watch some of my other videos because there is so many on my channel and i hope you can enjoy them if you're new and as i always say never let anyone do your sparkle see you in my next one bye